Hi, I'm Mark Fitzsimmons with Fox, and I run a race program, and I'm going to go over our ICD system that we've been racing on all year that's going to be available in late October uh, for consumers to buy and to um, get experience what we've been racing and developing. And what we have here is uh, Jeff Kabush's bike. It's his World Cup full suspension race bike that he's been testing and racing ICD on all year. And with this system, what it allows him to do is lock out and adjust the suspension remotely, front and rear at the same time. And uh, with very little effort and not a lot of force at, on the lever. And so with the system, he has it set up in two position where it's just locked out, unlocked. And the nice thing about the system too is you're able to adjust it unlike a normal system where he chooses to lock it out pushing it forward. You can push it, um, lock it out going the other way. It's programmable. You can't do that with, uh, with mechanical systems and cables and that kind of thing. Uh, the other big benefit of the system as well is you can put it from left to right and it has an extremely low lever force. You know, you got quite a bit of force on levers, mechanical things in order to make activate them. And with the ICD, it's very little force. So a rider or a racer can adjust it so quickly that within 10 to 12 feet of sprinting sections, they can lock it out. And so they'll use this lever 40 times a lap, you know, in a, in a six lap race. So it gets used almost two to three times as much as an old mechanical system of how easy it is and it has three positions what you can do with this is you can lock out front and rear at the same time or have them unlocked at the same time or lock out only the rear or you can have the option of having a two position another great benefit of it being electronic you can program it to do what you want it has a di2 battery we use the wiring from the Shimano DI2 system, a bracket, so everything becomes modular there. Um, it's very, very simple to set up. You know, wires, the wires can come out, be plugged in, very easy. It doesn't have to be reprogrammed, works again. So it makes it super easy to set up. Battery life, we've got racers going two months without having to charge it or do anything with it. Um, you know, being a, you know, when they're racing, we encourage them to, before every race to check it or give them a put on their charged batteries. But it's been working exceptionally well. Um, it's resistant to corrosion and water. On the cable actuated system, because you have cables that stretch and that kind of thing, Every other race, we end up replacing that system, cleaning it, making sure you know the tension's correct. Because when you have those, you know those cables stretching, the lockout sometimes doesn't lock out. So with this system, it eliminates all of the all of those variables, and it's very durable. You know, we've gone all year without replacing any wires, switches with these guys. It's been awesome, and uh, the consumer's going to get to have these benefits in another month and you can do it as a fork only shock only the goal was to design the system to be a similar weight to a cable actuated system and then the additional weight that comes in the system is from the battery as far as external adjustments with the system you have external rebound on the fork and shock like our other suspension systems air pressure and that's basically it it's very focused very specific to make it not complicated and it's you know user specific for racing marathon riding racing um, you know for that fitness athlete and it's starting to take off where we actually have consumers and some enduro riders requesting it for that type of riding longer travel with the amount of climbing and descending those guys are doing in that new discipline of racing. So you'll be seeing some of our top enduro racers on this system going into next year. So what we have here I'm going to show you is our new 
5 fork and we chose to go with that instead of 650B simply because of the other wheel sizes, 26, 29, you know, it, it's, it's in the middle. And it's a 160 millimeter travel fork, it's 34 millimeter tubes. Um, its length is about 13 millimeters longer than a 26 inch 34 millimeter fork at the same travel and that's just to accommodate the wheel size so we worked really hard at keeping that crown to axle height low um, keeping the stiffness high it's 4.3 pounds which keeps it right in that nice weight range so you can keep a you know sub 27 pound bike and that with that wheel size and uh, it's going to be used for enduro all mountain um, and it's worked out really great because it a lot of the features on our other forks is transferred straight over. And it just allows us to meet the test standards and the stiffness standards of the longer travel fork.